Today I have two new Domino tools to show you, introducing the drop door and the launch pad. My idea was to design Domino devices that can be incorporated into a Domino setup just like a fall wall that provide more methods for toppling common Domino structures. The drop door is a raised trap door that will instantly release every single Domino standing on it using a single Domino falling off the edge as the trigger. It's a visually interesting way to topple a domino structure, many structures all at once, or get a double toppling effect by having something topple once, then free fall through the air again. The launch pad is a platform that springs up to send dominoes flying into the air and is triggered by a mousetrap. It's a great way to topple a domino structure if you don't want a small to large set to overwhelm the design or if you just want an explosive effect. I'm going to be toppling some domino setups that show off drop doors and launch pads in action, but first, here's how I made each one. For the frame of the drop door, I measured and cut 8 1x3s to be 30 inches long. Then I measured and cut 8 1x3s to be 25 and a quarter inches long. With the 25 and a quarter inch pieces, I made two squares by screwing four pieces together. I attached the 30 inch pieces as legs in the shape of an L on the outside of the corners. Then I flipped it over and attached the second square to the inside of the legs. I measured the positions and attached two hinges to the inside of the square and then connected them to a two foot by two foot plywood board. I used a quick release as the release mechanism using a nut, bolt, and L brackets to mount it to the frame. It holds back a key ring attached to a short section of chain, which will be connected to the door. It's triggered by a domino with a binder clip attached to a long section of chain. When the domino falls, it pulls the quick release trigger and the door is released. I also wood glued a custom domino staircase to bring the action from ground level to the top of the drop door and attached it to the frame with L brackets. For the base of the launch pad, I measured and cut two 1x10s into 9 and a quarter inch squares. I drew lines from corner to corner to mark the exact center of each, and I marked points 1.5 inches up and over from two of the corners. I drilled 3 8 inch holes through both boards, then with one of the boards, I increased the hole size to half an inch. I put 3 8 by 6 inch bolts through the first board and added washers, nuts, more washers, and extremely strong compression springs. Then I screwed a large eye hook into the center. I used bolts and L brackets to mount a quick release. However, there's so much pressure being held back by the quick release that I had to make the trigger even more sensitive by adding washers before the ring that gets pulled. I cut and attached an even stronger ring and chain for it to hold back. The chain goes through the eye hook and attaches to the center of the second board. Then I put the second board onto the assembly and added lock nuts at the end of the bolts. I added a short chain to a mouse trap. A domino line can trigger the launch pad by hitting the mouse trap. Now let's build some projects using these mechanisms.
It turns out that the VBH tape that I used to hold down that first launch pad to the ground wasn't quite strong enough. So instead of pulling the trigger, it just shifted the whole platform a little bit. So this is my review of VBH tape. Now this, this is the good stuff. Double-sided mounting tape. Lesson learned, I'm always gonna use this to lock it down into place. Hit the like button for this tape and smash subscribe to join the reaction so you can see more amazing domino art. Thank you.